Hello friends, how are you? Mm, hope you're doing good. Uh, today I'm going to uh, show you how to add uh, uh, Dynamics router in EVNG. So for that uh, you would uh, require obviously uh, the VM, EVNG VM to be already installed on your system. After that you would need couple of uh, softwares. One of them is WinSCP. So this is the one that I'm talking about, WinSCP. Yeah. Uh, you can get it from any. Uh, uh, you could get it from any uh, 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 link from the Google or from the uh, uh, official site, WinSCP official site. From here, you can download it. Okay, one is this, and then you will need Putty uh, software, right? Putty. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, log. Uh, I'm going to access the file system of EVNG. Uh, so first of all I need to know the IP address of uh, my system of my uh, virtual, virtual machine system right? this one so this is 150 so I'm gonna uh, log into 192.168.1.150 with the u root username of root and um, password is EVE EVE -E, all small letters right so this is uh, how you go in uh, okay this is one thing and second I need is uh, the image so um, image of the uh, 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 Cisco uh, uh, iOS right so for that I will uh, I already have downloaded some of them if you want to download you can search on Google and you'll get the uh, iOS images so for now let's uh, let's add a Cisco uh, 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 the router Mm, so I'll go for uh, mm, so these all uh, are the routers that I have so I'll go for the 30 37 25 uh, image right so you need this one with the image not the bin so you need the image and you can copy this one just to uh, what you say? remember the name right uh, okay next is you have to make a directory here um, inside the root here here you have to make a directory or else what you can do is you can just go to uh, um, putty software right putty you might know this one putty and uh, just uh, tell it into the ssh into the uh, uh, evng machine right like this um, so you will get this and then you will get the uh, username and password so here I'm inside EVNG you can go from here also from the virtual machine CLI but the thing is you cannot do copy paste so the command that uh, I need you to uh, type is make dir make dir uh, will create a directory abc inside the root so you can see here if I go here so I will have a directory because of this command inside this right after that uh, you have to change to ABC, ABC. So you're inside ABC now. Tick and uh, and then you can say LS. So there is nothing inside ABC. So if you have a, um, a bin file, say if you have a bin file, you have to process. Uh, we have to follow this process. If you have an dot image file then you have to skip and go to the next uh, step that is directly uh, copying the image file to the dynamic so let's say you have a bin file okay for example I'll see if I have a bin file so I have this bin file right so I'll copy this bin file in the uh, directory CD AD bin so let's copy this in the uh, ABC directory done I'm uh, so now if I do LS command I will see that file inside so for this you need to unzip the command is unzip minus p and then uh, the uh, mm, name of the image that you have and greater than sign and then the new name right but this would be I am a G E image this is the one right so this is the command that you should have signature not found uh, okay what is the problem okay guys so what is the issue 
okay let me see what is the issue mm, so I think the image is corrupt so that's that is the reason uh, uh, this error is throwing so I'll just delete this image from here and I'll look for a new image so if I go somewhere I need an dot uh, img ice images is there so I'll go with this which one mm, with the 37 okay so I'll go with this one I'll copy this here okay I have to delete this okay fine I'll open the putty so if I do ls I should see this one then unzip minus uh, minus p unzip minus p mm, minus p and the uh, name of this greater than and again same name I'll keep and img -E image enter so yeah so this is how it is so now if I see I should have the image file right so now that I have the image file you can do one thing you can either co uh, copy uh, from here you can just move move to uh, uh, so the location is opt slash unit lab slash, uh, slash add-ons and slash dynamics inside this you need to keep this image right this image you need to keep inside uh, the uh, folder that I sh said that is and that is this opt slash um, unit lab unit lab slash add-ons slash dynamics you can do like this also okay you can do like this and hit enter so this will be copied to that folder so if you don't want to do that if you don't want to do that um, so here it is right or else you can um, uh, what do you say move it to uh, your uh, move it through your uh, uh, command line so I'll get it back to root slash abc right this is the area uh, this is the folder that it was so I'll show you how to do it through uh, the uh, command line right so it is back so here you can type mv mv means move move this file the file is this one image right image file uh, to to where slash opt slash unit lab slash add-ons slash dynamics right and backslash so in dynamics you know throw it right so hit enter so now if you refresh this thing the image file will be gone right image file will be gone and it will be inside the same folder where, where we kept it right it should be here yeah it is here so this is the way uh, that you can do it either way you can do it either drag and drop or you can just if you have the image file you uh, need to skip all the steps right directly go and uh, paste the dynam I mean, uh, the image file in the dynamics folder uh, and the next step is you have to delete the abc folder for that you can do it from the uh, Mm, what do you say the GUI from here you can right click and delete or from here also you can uh, delete so for that is uh, command is rm minus rf and abc right the, the folder name gone so if I refresh again that folder is gone right so that is again uh, your option what do you want to do after that you type the command that is slash opt slash unit labs for the um, uh, permissions to be fixed right or app I'll, I'll just keep this command in my com uh, in my uh, description so that you can just uh, copy and paste this command right uh, some of the commands you can copy and paste but for the command like unzip and the move you need to ma match the uh, name of the uh, file right <coughs> fix permissions okay so this is what you need to do once you do it once you do it then you can log in to the uh, what do you say to the uh, uh, GUI GUI of the mm, mm, EVNG right here so 192 168 1 down 150 it was right I think so this is the one yeah so here admin and eve so right now I'll delete this so I've added the dynamics so here it is right dynamics 350 so here I'll get the only uh, image that I've added I'll go and save and start 
okay this will start the dynamics but now what you need to do is you need to calculate the idle PC or else what will happen is what will, what will happen is it will eat up all your um, memory like right? processor memory uh, so for that also you, you have a step so I'll, I'll show you how it does that is you go to this um, EVNG machine and type top you will see it is utilizing 100% of the CPU right uh, if you keep it like this you are gonna roast your CPU so it's not like just you're gonna use one router right you, you will be using uh, multiple routers maybe 5 10 right so just think it will use it will trash your uh, PC or it can also harm damage your hardware so for that uh, the process is uh, uh, slightly different I'll show you how to do that um, so what you do is uh, this is the, the okay for this uh, how do you uh, uh, calculate the idle PC right so I'll stop this uh, and also this okay I'll go to the web GUI I'll stop the router okay fine then I'll type a command uh, that is uh, where this on this CLI I'll type a command in dynamips guys I'll keep all the uh, commands in the uh, description right so uh, the, the command is 3725 depends on uh, uh, depends on the type of uh, device you're using this will change right 3725 it will change for 29 uh, 7200 for 2960 like that slash opt slash then then the mm, uh, full uh, what do you say path of where the file has been added add on slash uh, dynamips again dynamips and then the uh, name of the uh, 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 image right slash opt unit lab add ons dynamips and this name and then enter so what will happen is it will run the uh, router in this uh, mm, uh, environment it is running the iOS okay so wait for the prompt where it says uh, you want to enter the initial configuration dialog hit and no and enter wait for a few, few minutes <coughs> So guys, I'm just waiting for the router to come up. Okay guys, uh, so once you get this screen, just type no. Okay, done. So you will get the router screen. So once uh, you get the router screen, then you have to follow a step. That is this one. Press two combination key, control and the bracket and then I. Control plus bracket release and then I okay so once I'm here control plus bracket then I so it will generate the uh, idle PC values okay wait for the idle PC values to come up <coughs> once it come up uh, you, uh, with the idle PC values you will go to the highest one so you can see here 23 is not the highest 58 62 is the highest so you will take this value okay you will take this value and you will uh, uh, you will take this value and go to the uh, CLI here you will edit you will edit okay I need to log into the CLI triple one uh, is the CLI okay guys I had to change the IP address of my uh, management IP address so the if uh, the uh, CLI was not coming up so I, I changed the management IP address I will also have a new session here uh, because this was connected to my old IP address Okay, 192, 168, 150. So this is going to be the CLI. 
root e ev so i'm here i'll just try the top command so here you can see nothing is uh, eating up the cpu i'll go to edit and uh, hopefully i have the this one right so this uh, you need to paste it and then save and then you start start the uh, uh, device so i will see the cpu usage should be reduced it's going to 100 let's see more let's wait for some time should go down should go down So here guys when you enter the no no uh, in the initial config uh, the values should go down but in my case it didn't go down I think uh, it did go down yeah it go it went down now see so this is how you do it right I thought like uh, the uh, value I didn't copy and paste so so now you can see the uh, this uh, CPU usage has gone down properly, right? So for the 3725, you need to keep that value there. It will be saved, right? So if you are adding a new router, then you have to again do the same procedure and uh, calculate the idle value and uh, change it in while adding the node. So next time you add, you don't need to change the setting at all. Okay, guys, thanks. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, do comment and let me know uh, uh, what you want to um, uh, uh, know from my side. I'll try to uh, record the, the video and upload it. And uh, I will uh, paste the commands in the description section of the video. Please do uh, subscribe to my channel. Thank you and support me. Thank you.